So Ed, settle the debate for once and for all. What's harder, comedy or drama? Comedy. Comedy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> comedy is much harder. Comedy is harder and, and it's less appreciated in a way. It's a oh, 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 this is my axe to grind. <laughs> Now, Jason, you are amazing in this movie, but most people would not expect an Australian to be so good at playing Ted Kennedy. How did you know you could do it? I, I didn't know if I could. I mean, I, I thought I'd give it a go, you know, piece by piece. You know, and a guy like John, you know, insisting I wear teeth, I really wasn't going to do something like that. We really helped out, and it, it just seemed to come together, and, you know, and, and we hoped we'd make a great film and do justice to the story and the script, and... And I think we have. Are you able to slip into the accent at any time? Or? Not really. It takes a lot of work. I mean, I can do a little bit of it, certain lines, I think, but not, you know, he has a very particular tonal range, which, which took a lot of work to kind of try and find. I grew up in a very politically engaged family, and I knew about Chappaquiddick from a young age, and this script was just so rich with humanity and... All, all kinds of intrigue and detail that I never knew. And then, of course, you know, for me, mostly being in comedy movies, this was a really exciting step into a different area and to, to be able to work with these guys and, and John Curran, I felt in good hands. Guys like Jim and Ed, I just, from meeting them, I knew they had dramatic chops. I felt they could do that. You know, what's hard is with some really great dramatic actors, they don't necessarily have a sense of humor. And, um, you know, understanding a deadpan response or improvising, you know, it seems easy, but it, it's, you know, I mean, I couldn't do it. But, um, yeah, I, I felt it would, I'd get a broader range of colors. Yeah, I actually didn't, I really didn't know a lot about the story. So when I read the script for the first time, I was, you know, I could not put it down. Um, I thought it was really beautifully written. And these guys were already cast. And when I sat down with John and, and we talked about, you know, what he wanted to do with um, the story and Mary Jo specifically, um, I just sort of jumped at the chance to be a part of it. I've played a few um, real people, um, some alive and some not. And I think so. I think there's always that extra sort of pressure you feel um, because you, you know, you, you want to do them proud in a way, um, if possible. But then you also sort of have to let that go and just, you know, do the best you can at, at telling their story. I met Ted years ago. Yeah, yeah, I did a, a series of Brotherhood and I met him years and years ago when I was in Rhode Island on a boat. There's so much material available. Yeah, it was a lot of reading. Not with the family itself. I didn't really feel, you know, there's anybody that really could have... I read all these books. I read all the books. You know, the, you know Joe Kennedy, particularly on the, you know, the, the time he was growing... Ted was growing up, World War II, loss of his first brother, loss of his second brother, 60s, you know, the 50s. All that period that, that led up to man going to the moon, you know, and the great profound change. I mean, we think, you know, we're in rough days. 68 was a massive year of, I mean two massive titans in this century were shot dead. You know, and then the next year, his other brother, you know, actually, you know, five years previously, sorry, his brother was shot. It was, a, it was turmoil. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a crazy, crazy days. When you met him, did you have any idea? I mean, was there even the idea that you might play him? No, <laughs> no, no. He was Ted Kennedy. He had a beautiful boat and he loved sailing. You know, and you know, I, I still remember the day very clearly. Did you spend the day with him? On a boat, yeah, on and off this boat, and you know, everyone was sad. It was, you know, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm.